What's up guys, Ash Tech here, and welcome back to another video, and it's time to know the truth. So first off, I wanted to start by saying sorry for not posting so far this week. We've got some big things coming up though, so these things are taking a little bit more time. So we haven't had time to do the daily videos that we usually do, so make sure to check back in in two weeks for the back to schedule, because next week I'm actually going to Ireland, hopefully attending a new tech event. So we will see how that goes, and I will take you guys with me, of course, maybe do some sort of vlog kind of style thing, but we'll see. For now, let's focus on today's video, which is the story behind this channel. Now, normally I wouldn't even be making this video as didn't want to take time out of the schedule that we have going for the bigger stuff, but I felt the need to because of a couple of things. Now, when I started this channel, it never was supposed to be what it is now. We've kind of morphed it into a pretty rapidly growing tech review DIY project kind of channel, but what it was supposed to be from the start was just a documentation of different things I was doing for my friends to watch or for other people to see what's going on. Now, here's the issue with that whole process. The documentation that I was doing was of other things that I've seen on YouTube, mostly from Jay Laser Video. Now, many of you guys probably have already heard of Jay Laser Video. If you haven't, I will be talking about him this entire video, so you'll definitely learn some things, and I'll leave his channel link and description, everything in the bottom, so you guys can go check that out as well. But basically, Jay Laser Video is a college student, I believe, who's doing a bunch of cool, awesome movie DIY projects that he documents and he teaches people how to do over on his channel. Definitely check that out. But basically, when I started this channel, I was always into the little hacksmith and the jailer's video type, type videos, type projects that they were doing, and I wanted to try it for myself. Now, if you, if you see these things and you watch them on YouTube and you don't try them, I definitely think you should. Maybe not some of the more dangerous ones, but definitely try to try at least some of them because Honestly, it's just a lot of fun to try it, do it with your friends, it's, it's a whole experience. But focusing back on the issue is that the first, I believe, couple of videos that I did, the first DIY projects more specifically, um, were just documentations of me trying out some of Jay Laser videos type stuff. And this, I guess, later on, sparked a bunch of people to come and say that, oh, you copied his content, you're stealing from Jay Laser Video, make your own content. And this is coming weeks later after we've already kind of diverted away from the whole documentation more into the new creation and tech news and tech unboxing and reviews, that type of videos. So basically, I just wanted to address it, especially now before we start moving on and talk about it a little bit. So the videos I'll have right here, these are the ones that I had documented from Jay Laser Video. Video. So these are the ones of the projects, just the kind of experience. Most of the work that we did was either a, a trial like we did with the Spider-Man web shooters or it was a modification on a Jay Laser video project like the briefcase where we used a fully auto versus a paintball gun and, and stuff like that. So basically those two DIY projects specifically were the main documentations. The other videos that we did, tech news, tech unboxings, the other DIY projects like the portable charger, those were all new. That is our diversion from Jay Laser video video completely. That is us creating our own content and that is us moving forward into a less documentative and more our own channel. So to address it, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Jay Laser Video. Now, with all the YouTube drama that's going on, um, if you guys aren't caught up, you can check out Drama Alert. It's this great channel that talks about all the YouTube drama going on. And the best part about it is they can post every day because there is drama every single day on YouTube. So Jay Laser Video, in this sense, has every right to go and be mean, try to lash out, make a diss track, which is going around. But he doesn't do that. And this is, this is what he does instead. Just right here. Now, I think that's absolutely amazing. This, this college student, first of all, in the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, is taking his time, first of all, noticing that somebody is doing something, whether it be similar or not, he can, he can lash out, he can do whatever he wants, but instead he decides to go with positivity. And that is what I think is amazing. Jake, Jake Laser is his full name, he goes for his Jay Laser video, I guess that's where it's come from, but he decides to say this, show support, and especially comment below. He doesn't have to do any of this, he can easily flag it, do whatever he wants, which is apparently what a lot of people are doing to people's videos these days, but he doesn't do that. And this is the important thing. So, Jay Laser video 
sees that we've done similar things in two of our videos. And as a starting out channel, this was something that I didn't expect to happen. I didn't expect the documentation to blow up like it did in the thousands of views, but it did. But he's not holding that against the channel. No, instead, he's going positively and he's congratulating, cool build. Um, I liked what you guys did here and I love playing around with these. Now I could be taking this wrong, he could be being sarcastic, in which case that would change things, but I don't believe that's the type of person he is. So, J Laser video, if you're watching, and I'll send this to you so maybe you will be, I do want to say thank you for all of your great videos, for showing us how to do all these amazing things. Um, if you at all thought that the previous video, those two DIY projects were just me trying to steal your content, it really wasn't. It was just supposed to be documentation and that's why since then we've diverted completely into new projects and to more of a tech related focus on this channel. So I hope you keep continuing what you're doing for as long as you can because it is truly amazing to watch the things that you come up with. For all those people out there listening, go check them out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the future of this channel. So this channel is still gonna continue doing DIY projects, still gonna continue doing tech news, still gonna continue to do tech unboxings. And that's really important that you keep up to date because we are going to be showing off a bunch of new things that we've seen. We've definitely been in talk with a lot of companies who are down to sponsor some things, including an AR version of an Iron Man helmet. So hopefully if we can bring that into the world, we will try our best to. Be sure to check back in because we will be having unboxings of the iPhone X soon. We've already been working on videos related to that. So make sure you are subscribed below so you can catch all of that later. Make sure you turn that little notification on because as you know, YouTube is having problems with notifying its subscribers. So make sure you do that. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because we are going to be posting a lot about our projects, our videos, giveaways, tech news, stuff like that. So make sure you're following along and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.